Hello traders, D7 here. It is great to be back in the saddle looking forward to analyzing these markets. And per usual, the S&P daily chart, I cleaned it up quite a bit. You will notice that I've taken off a lot of lines. You know what, now that I'm even looking at it, take off another. I have absolutely got rid of a bunch of lines. I've cleaned it up quite a bit. Feel free to make the similar adjustments on your own chart. But we've had one heck of a run here. I was being gone this last week, went over to near D.C., Washington, D.C. area, hung out with Matador for a while, and uh, yeah, great time. This was just a, an exceptionally nice run that we've had. And we did, it's roughly, I'm not going to count this one, about a nine-day run. Now, we are overextended at this time. Expect a correction, and the correction could be very small, or it could go down a little deeper. But the thing that I'm really paying attention to is, will the correction go any deeper than this trend line? You can see I have a swing low here and a lower swing low, or here we have a higher swing low. But this trend line coming up should act as support when it does pull back. If it's going to, we could get a high base and then break out also. Um, uh, could this continue northbound from where it's at right now? The answer is yes, it could because the markets can do anything, but the, um, the odds are against it at, that t uh, at this point. We are hitting our head at resistance, and if I go back, we have support, 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 little resistance, resistance, and it's acting as resistance again right here, giving us kind of a wedgy look, a, a rising wedge which is bearish. So I'd like for it to really kind of clear out this area. For this to stay bullish, I'd like to see yet another leg heading up, giving us a leg like we had here, right there. But um, it's at a real key area right now. I just don't see that happening, especially tomorrow being Friday. Not sure that we're going to get a real decisive, significant move tomorrow. But the thing that I'm really focusing in on here is I'm going to really blow this up where we can see it, um, is we have ourselves a spinning top formation. So we have a, a um, some wicks here, an upper shadow, lower shadow with a little small body. It doesn't matter if the body is red or white or yellow or pink or purple, uh, but it's a spinning top. Could be a sign of a reversal. Now we did have a spinning top right here after a nice run. We did make a lower low, but the markets were so bullish, we just rallied yet again. So the same thing could happen here. Just because it's a reversal pattern doesn't mean it's going to reverse. So we have to play what we see. So here, what I would like to see is a close higher than today's high, which would put us, we'd want to get over 1,075. If we could close above that, that should sustain the upward movement, at least for a while. If we do get a close below today's low, that would, you know, below like 1060, if we got below 1060 area and, and close there, then expect a pullback, you know, and I think we could get a few days here, just like we did right here, just like we did here, you know, get a little pullback, be looking for some long formations on that pullback to go long yet again. So there it is. The markets, I looked at the sectors. The sectors are pretty even, Steven. Natural gas that has been booming lately actually took a 7% plus haircut today. So it's starting to simmer down. And we look forward to tomorrow. We'll be doing our markets. I want to big, say a big thank you to Matador for taking over the evening afternoon videos for me. I really do appreciate that. And I'm sure I'll be returning the favor at some point when he takes off for some time. <laughs> so anyway, happy trading to each and every one of you. And make sure that you always use a stop loss when you're out there trading. And Matador and I are all geared up, ready for this weekend's training session. For all those who are participating, get good night's rest and get ready to take copious notes. Looking forward to this four-day mentoring session. Take care, everybody. Happy trading.